Episode 34 Master the Art of the Bold Move In the skill of making someone like you, you must at some point make a daring bold move that takes things to an exciting high point. Too much holding back or weak politeness at the crucial moment lets all the built-up nice tension deflate like a leaky balloon. As Robert Greene skillfully explains in his book, The Art of Making People Want You, boldness used at precisely the right instant is totally essential, yet also an art in itself. The Important Slow Burn However, you cannot simply charge out boldly from the very start. That approach lacks all subtlety and nobility of true making someone like you. A longer slow burn pursuit is vital, gradually inflaming want while feeding your target's very human vanity. Through your devoted attentions and restraint, you make them feel utterly hot and irresistible, but still just out of reach of the final satisfaction they crave. Let the delicious suspense and tension build and build. When you begin to sense the magic moment is near through your target's unconscious signals, nervous fidgeting, subconsciously mirroring your words and gestures, holding your gaze a little too long, then, and only then, is it time to strike with breathtaking boldness. Any further hesitation, and the passionate fever breaks, the mystique evaporates. You simply must seize that decisive moment while the yearning hangs taut. The power of drama. But merely making a move is insufficient. To truly etch yourself into their memory and leave a burn of desire for more, you need to imbue your bold action with a sense of delicious drama and showmanship. Take a page from the witty 15th century tale of the young Venetian widow who entranced her noble target by offering just a whispered talk of touring her unseen bedchambers before leading him there and orchestrating a slow dimming of candles one by one until just a single flame remained to silhouette her every curve as she drew him to the teasingly warm bed or build an air of coy mystery by nonchalantly mentioning something you'll deign to reveal to them later, inflaming their imagination with possibilities until they can resist no more. The key is to create an exquisitely memorable scene that shakes them from the monotony and grey predictability of everyday life. Of course, your theatrical direction should not be overly rehearsed. Like a skillful improviser, you must co-create with your surroundings and target state by staying acutely attuned to the charged atmosphere for the perfect instant to unleash your bold gesture in a burst of overwhelming passion. Too calculated, and it loses its thrilling spontaneity. Letting out wild ardor. And when you do strike, do so not with lukewarm motions, but utterly inflamed with the embodiment of raw, wild desire itself. Don't merely speak suggestively of the mood, become the living, breathing personification of smoldering ardor. Let the laser focus of your passions pour forth and instantly transmit through your molten gaze, your unconscious movements and vocals vibrating with the unmistakable frequency of lust. They will be helpless to resist mirroring the inferno you've effortlessly stoked within them. For the fairer sex, there are two principal modes of feminine boldness to consider. The first is the more traditionally flirtatious actress, who, with a masterful sleight of flirtatious body language and suggestive double meanings, stokes a man's fire to an exquisite fever pitch, before allowing him the illusion that he is the one transgressing by making his move upon her. Though she has choreographed the entire charming, he still feels he has conquered. The second, more rare mode, is that of the woman who takes total charge as the sensual aggressor, initiating the first caress, unleashing her own ardent desires upon her masculine target. While this occurs less frequently in most cultures, many men are set delightfully afire by its unique reversing of power. The Climactic Rarity Ultimately, the bold move is such a powerful and intoxicating instrument because of its very rarity in our polite cultures of decorum. When was the last time someone unleashed such wild passion and daring upon you? Exactly. We have been tamed and domesticated from such primal expressions in the name of proper society. So when someone gives vent to their molten desires through brazen boldness, it is wildly electrifying precisely because it ruptures through the usual monotonous routine. 
like a sudden summer thunderstorm erupting through the humid stillness. The bold move breaks the unbearable tension and formality in a torrent of cathartic liberation. The key is to never overuse its power, or it loses its rarity and impact. There is an art to properly stoking that tantric build before gloriously releasing at the perfect climactic instant. When impeccably orchestrated through the theatrical unfolding of escalating tensions and reverent courtship, that final bold move hits like a body blow of ecstatic resolution. It sears itself into their memories and makes you utterly unshakable in the pantheon of their most blazing desires. Master the art of boldness, and your charmings move from mere flings to epic legends. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and if you found something relatable, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Now onto something crucial. Make it a habit to learn something valuable every day that genuinely benefits you. Remember, the content you feed your mind is like nourishment for your brain, so choose wisely. Be intentional about it. Otherwise, algorithms may manipulate your thinking. Consider that. Additionally, we're now welcoming contributions in the form of subscriptions to help fund our upcoming projects and provide you with outstanding content. Join us in our journey by subscribing today.